Hey guys, Tim Mitchell here with another tip for you about your your online business marketing. Uh, today's question, today's tip is should you have a blog? Uh, now a blog is a web blog and it's, it's a lot of people have blogs today. There's two types of blogs that you need to be concerned with. There is a free blog and that's wordpress.com, that's blogger.com, that's um, hubpages.com and squidoo.com. Those are four great types of free blogs. Now there's many, many, many hundreds of different websites that you can have a blog on. Uh, but you know, you the only thing with the the free blogs, uh, they're good. They are set up on high authority sites, and so you're going to gain some instant authority just by having a website on their domain. But the, the the downside of that is it it can be taken away. You can have your account canceled at any time, uh, whether it's a valid reason in your opinion or not. So you have the op, you know you have the option to have the free one, and it's a really good option. I encourage you to have that. But you can also have a self-hosted blog. And those are a blog that's on your own domain. For example, you could have your website forward slash blog, and that would be you know a blog where you can keep up with the latest information in your industry. You can keep up with news um, and just generally build rapport. You could also set up your own individual website and just have it be a blog, uh, self-hosted on a blog. A great way to build things is is on a WordPress blog. So some of the benefits of a blog, when you can build a good following, so you can build a, a set number of people that that want to follow and they're interested in what you talk about, and are willing to come back over and over to read the informative content that you put out there. You're going to get additional content out there for your business and for your brand and for your name. They're all going to have backlinks. Every every page is going to have links back to your own home site. So you're going to get more traffic. You're going to have more links. You're going to get better rankings for your main website. Uh, and that's going to eventually lead to more sales. These efforts are also multiplied over time. So once you have wrote a blog post, that blog post is going to be yours. Now if you write it on the free blog post, it's still yours. Uh, but it's going to be yours until the point where somebody decides they don't want to or the website folds up or anything can happen but those those efforts are going to be multiplied over time so every website or every blog post you put up there is going to build is going to build upon and so after a certain amount of time of updating your blog regularly you're going to have a huge uh, website. You're going to have a, a ton of pages. You're going to have a two, three hundred page website. And all you have to do is just build up a couple of um, blog posts a week. And you know, you can get it from there. And so that's the benefits. Yes, I think everyone should have a blog. You can either do it with the free blog posts, which are like I said, let me repeat those. There's WordPress.com, Blogger.com, HubPages.com, and Squidoo.com. Uh, or you can go to WordPress.org and you can do the self-hosted blogs which allow you to have more features, more controls because it is your website. If you want to learn to market your business online with more videos and free reports just like this one, uh, just go sign up at OnlineTulsaMarketing.com That's OnlineTulsaMarketing.com I give you a ton of videos. I have about 20 other videos that I, that I have and I'll send out to you along with a, uh, a valuable reports. So just go on over to online Tulsa Marketing dot com. Fill in the form and I'll see you later.